Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a, uh, as I said in my previous video, going to be reviewing this one now. Uh, I said in the previous video that I was going to be doing this uh, in this video. Point being, <laughs> reviewing this today. I upgraded my network. I've got beautiful Wi-Fi coverage throughout the whole house. So I thought, what the hell, let me see what happens when I put a Wi-Fi card on my test bench instead of using uh, a wired Ethernet connection to it. That way I've got less wires going to the test bench. So, you know. Plus, this has uh, Bluetooth in it as well. So it's dual band, 2402 megabytes per, megabits per second plus 574 megabits per second speed. It's AX3000, I don't know why they divide it up that way, but... And it's because it's a uh, dual band, it's one's 5 gig or you know 5G and the other one's 2.4G. Uh, Bluetooth 5.0 technology, Intel Wi Fi 6 chipset inside 802.11ax slash AC slash A, B, G, and N. So let's crack this puppy open, take a look, see what's inside the box, and then. Ah, I broke my knife. Oh well. That sucks. Man. Open up. There we go. Yeah, that sucks. Ah, oh, there it is. The little knob. Yeah, I'll fix it later. Dun 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 dun. dun. Very simple packaging. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was like uh, thirty dollars. So there's a bunch of them on Amazon. This just looked like the best one at the best price. Looks like uh, in the box they give you uh, a small uh, PCI Express uh, plate or slot plate, whatever you want to call it. Two antennas, the Wi-Fi card itself. It looks like what they did was they adapted a um, one for a laptop onto a card like this to go into the uh, PCI Express slot. It does look like it's uh, 1X, it goes into a 1X slot. So, um, let's see, and of course there's what looks like a USB 2 uh, plug and header screw for the PCI Express slot looks like a driver and manual on a disk and quick installation guide Hardware installation, wireless adapter driver installation, blah blah blah. Bluetooth driver installation. Yep. Seems pretty straightforward. I won't need it. So. But yeah, looks like, and of course the little antennas, they screw on just like this. That way you can have two antennas. And like I said, I'm assuming that it's going to hook into USB 2.0. There we go. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. It's probably for the software. So we got some kind of software that goes with it. Not 100% sure, but we'll get it hooked up here in a few and we'll find out. So I'm going to pause, get my test bench out, hooked up, and then we're going to get this puppy installed and go from there. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, 
about ready to unfortunately just simply hooking it up to the test bench it doesn't want to work right out of the box it's not plug and play you need that little driver disc you probably find the software online with a wired connection you know basically meaning you'd have to connect it with a ethernet cable get the driver's software install it then you could disconnect the uh, ethernet cable and have the you know uh, Wi-Fi card take over so I dug out my CD drive I'm gonna open up and then now there's 30 I don't know if you guys can see it very well anyway there's 64 bit 32 bit for the Wi-Fi and then for the Bluetooth there's 32 and 64 and then there's a quick installation guide which is basically I think the same thing as that so let's go ahead and click on that click yes hit next click agree install I found out the USB 2 cable that comes off that card and plugs into a USB 2 header that is for the Bluetooth so we'll go ahead and install the Bluetooth real quick Next, next, I accept, next, ah, what the hell, it says typical, installs the most common program features, recommended for most users, screw it, let's go complete. That way I got all features, all features, all software, all everything. All finished. We'll go ahead and close that out. I noticed it popped up saying connections are available. Okay, and we're back. So let's pull up. Oh crap, I don't have. Oh, yes, I do. Aha, I thought I did. Not bad given the new network setup. Pretty good Wi-Fi. That wi so it turns out this Wi-Fi card works pretty good. I mean, installation is pretty straightforward. You just, you know, find a slot in your computer, plug the card in, wire up the USB 2.0 wire, and then install the software. There's been a review of the Hook. Yeah, I don't know. C C U D Y brand Cuddy Cuddy brand Wi-Fi 6 AX 3000 Wi-Fi card. Got it off Amazon for like 30 bucks. So, if you want Wi-Fi in your computer that doesn't have it automatically with the motherboard, this is the way to go because it is Wi-Fi 6. It is the newest. So, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up.
comment questions or concerns down in the comment section. And as always, see you guys in the next video.